So, Cracker the Savage. Uh, not the best character that I've ever made. Um, but there are people saying that he has been receiving some criticism by some people as of late. Uh, and it's very true. But what are my thoughts on him taking criticism? Like, he's the only character that I've made that is receiving criticism at the moment. Now, why, but why is that the case? Um, <clears throat> well, there's obviously a reason for it. But here's the thing about Cracker the Savage. And here's the thing. I'm going to explain the differences between Cracker and Skull. I'm going to first start, first of all, I'm going to start off with Skull. Um, Skull, who started off as Red Skull Man, uh, he originally wasn't even a character to begin with. He was just kind of like a persona I had. Um, if you guys look back at my early, early vlogs, which are very cringy, um, you guys would have noticed that there are times where Red Skull Man would appear, but he was like a, like a, like a, what? What, what what is it called? He was kind of like how you know you know how like guys like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye they have Darkiplier and Antisepticeye. It was like an evil persona of mine, like a dark side that I had. But um, eventually, I just decided to, you know, I was just like, okay, you know what? People seem to really not know what this guy is all about. So I just decided I was like. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, just make him into a character. I'm gonna make him into his own character. And I'm gonna see how that works out. And so I did. I decided to make Red Skull Man, as he was called at that point. Um, I decided to make him into a character just to see how he would do. And uh, you know, I always, you know, I the only reason why I decided to make him into a character in the first place. Was because when I wore that, <laughs> when I wore that mask for Halloween, because I I bought that mask for Halloween specifically, and uh, I thought it was the coolest mask I've ever seen. And I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe it would be cool if I was to wear it in like a, in in like a video, and uh, so I did. And as the years progressed, I eventually made him to a character. But people seem to actually really, like, people like Skull. You know, people like him. I know people that like him. I know my buddy Sam likes him. Uh, the Undying Moose likes him. And people just really seem to like him. And, uh, you know, I'm like, I've been thinking about that. I'm like, why do people like him so much? And then I, it, then it came to me. You know, he's, he's very different than, like, say, me. You know, because when it, when it comes to me as, as as a character in, like, the skits I do, um, you know, I'm, I'm usually just like a, I'm usually like a boring kind of pacifist kind of character who, like, takes the crap from both characters and is, like, just tries to deal with it as much as he can, but is kind of fed up with dealing with the crap at the same time. That's, a, that's kind of my skit character in a way. That is Nether Dude. He's tired of taking crap from everyone, but Skull, and I guess, I guess you could say that me and Skull as characters kind of have a little more history together, and that's why people kind of like him a little bit more, because he's a little more fleshed out, you know, you've had like, like three to two years of him on this channel, and you know, he's been fleshed out, you know, he's been in funny things, he's been in serious things, and you know, he's been in it all, and uh, then Cracker, now we get to Cracker the Savage, and uh, the only reason why Cra I made Cracker the Savage was because of the fact that uh, he, I felt like I needed, there needed to be a new character, um, you know, because I felt like people were kind of getting, not angsty about it, but people were like, uh, they wanted to see something new, like they want, like Markiplier. 
for instance, again, Markiplier has many different personas. He has many different characters in his arsenal. You know, he has the the uh, the Google Plus Markiplier. He has no, no, wait, that's called I believe that's called Google Google .exe. I believe. Um, but yeah, he also has like he has Darkiplier. He has uh, King of the Squirrels. Um, what else does he have? He has uh, Wilford Wharf Stash, uh, and he, you know, you know, he just has a bunch of characters in his arsenal, and people love him. So I was like, okay, you know, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could have a multiple character persona type of thing going on, and uh, I did. So I decided to make a second character, and Cracker the Savage was born. But I was like, okay, you know, Skull is a bit of a serious character at times. You know, he can be funny, um, but, you know, he's been portrayed mostly as a kind of an evil bad guy, kind of, in a way. Um, but I was thinking, like, I need to make, like, a funny a funny character who also happens to be kind of a, a douche because Skull is, like, an evil badass, in a way. Um, you know, he's... He's a bad guy, but he's really cool. And he's got a personality that kills. Um, Cracker the Savage, on the other hand, I tried so hard to make him funny. And, you know, sometimes it works. Because um, it, it does work. But, like, the very, like the very first video that I made with him, uh, he got mixed responses. Undying Moose liked him said that he he liked the laugh and uh uh i i didn't necessarily like the laugh because of the fact that it was such a try hard laugh kind of in a way but yeah he's a he's a very eh character like uh for instance he tr i tried so hard to make him cool and funny um but like i d i did that in this in the very first video that he was ever in and he's only been he's only been in two videos. Now, he, on the other hand, has uh, and he has evolved so much from the very first video that he was in, considering the fact that again, like I said, he was in he's only been in two videos. Um, he's he's changed a lot, and I made I made sure to change him into kind of a from a dorky kind of British man to a full on like. Like uh, kind of, kind of Conor McGregor cocky guy kind of in a way, but uh, that worked a little bit more than the first video he was in. But people still don't kind of like him, I guess, because he's just not the greatest character. He's not he's not well drawn out. He's not well thought out. You know, he's just kind of he's just kind of the cool cocky guy um, who talks a lot of crap, kind of like Conor McGregor in a way. You know, that's. Not what I intended him to be, but uh, that's kind of how he was being in a way. So, uh, you know, like, since people don't really like him, that's why I made the decision to have Skull, who is the more likable character out of the two, to uh, basically just kind of kick the crap out of him in a way. So, like, he's not dead, to say the least. He's not dead, but, you know, he got the crap kicked out of him, so he's not coming back for a while, but... Uh, he, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm going to bring him back, but I don't know when I'm bringing him back. You know, like I'm going to sell the, I got to sell the fact that Skull beat him up pretty badly. You know, he beat him up pretty good, but you know, he took a beating, so he's not going to be able to come back for a while. So I'm trying to sell that and I don't know how I'm going to bring him back. I might bring him back in like a skit on my channel or I might bring back bring him back on a on a skull critic video every once in a while you know make them rivals because of the fact that again he got the absolute crap kicked out of him and uh yeah like I I in all honesty I think I prefer skull over cracker any day but it's just like that's the main reason why people don't like him is because of the fact that he's just not as well, he's not as well done, not as well thought out as Skull is. Because Skull has some history 
and Cracker's just kind of there. So it's like, yeah. Um, he, he needs some work, that's for sure. But I think if you give it time, he might be a good character. But it's just for now, he just needs some time to work as a character. But yeah. So yeah, that's my honest opinion on the Cracker the Savage situation. So yeah.